Let's take these two red thrift store items and turn them into some trendy farmhouse Christmas decor. Now these look okay on their own being red and white, but I want to make them extra special for this year's Christmas decor. So tune in and let's see how it's done. First thing I'm gonna do is remove the knob from the Santa's mailbox. Then the lid from the lantern and all the glass panels from the lantern as well. I went ahead and removed the base of the lantern, including the little battery lit candle that was in there. It's just not gonna be a part of this project anymore. I went ahead and used the Rust-Oleum chalkboard paint from Rust-Oleum Imagine on both of the pieces. It covers so well and it gives it such a great finish as well as it's chalky so it's going to cover all of the glitter and parts on the decor that I didn't want. Then I went ahead and used the A Maker Studio stencils. This is the buffalo check pattern. I'm in love with it. I put it on the back of the Santa's mailbox with some white chalk paste spread evenly over the entire pattern. When I peeled off the stencil, it revealed an amazing result that I was super duper pleased with. My favorite pattern. I opened up the Santa's mailbox little door hatch again, and I added the exact same buffalo check pattern to that portion of the mailbox. I chose to do this portion of the door instead of the outside because I plan to use this piece of decor strictly on with the door open. Once that part was done, I added another stencil to the side of the mailbox that was just really cute ribbon um, with the words season's greetings on it. And then I decided after that, it was so darn cute, I wanted to add some snowflakes. And if you make a little mistake like that piece of chalk paste that got out of hand, just wipe it off with a wet artist brush like you saw me do there. These little snowflakes added the perfect little flare to both sides of the season's greetings ribbon banner. I took this buffalo check poinsettia Christmassy little pick, floral pick with greenery and tore it apart in order to add the pieces individually to the top of the Santa mailbox. I glued them in place with hot glue and added them especially careful to cover the top section that had the snow-like glitter puppy paint on it. This was a great remedy and it was just a cute little piece to add to the top of the mailbox.
Oh my goodness, this turned out so cute. After you add the little knob back on, I went ahead and just put some little vintage Christmas balls in the mailbox. Now on back to the lantern, I decided to add this etching effect to the panel of the back piece of glass. So I took the stencils again from a maker studio and using the snowflake pattern this time, I applied the etching cream generously. You wanna make sure to tamp it down into the stencil as well as apply a thick layer to the top. I went ahead and decided to cover the middle section with the word joy. And then ultimately I do the top section again with the snowflakes to mimic the bottom section all adding the etching cream to the top. You let this etching cream set on the glass for five minutes and then you remove it all with water and it reveals this amazing effect left behind on the glass as if it were an etched piece of art. I decided to use this panel as the only one with the etching effect and I put it on the back side of the Christmas lantern. Can you see how cute the etching turned out? I love this effect. After I wiped down the um, panel thoroughly, I went ahead and replaced it with the other glass pieces inside the lantern, added the corner screw on there just to kind of hold all the glass pieces in place tightly. Then it was ready to add my little miniature pieces. I started with this little glitter church from the Dollar Tree. It's just an ornament from the Dollar Tree. And then I took this vintage ornament that I had of these figurines that were ice skating. I thought it was the perfect addition and glued them all to the base. Then I sprinkled all of the styrofoam balls into the base of the lantern and shook it around until they were in the places that I wanted them all the little kind of nooks and crannies of the lantern. Once you've done this, you can go ahead and reattach the top of the lantern. And I decided to add a few embellishments to the top, including this little clothing label that says Winter Wonderland. I hot glued that to the front of the panel. And then I made one of these cute little, I call them now my zip tie bow, it is just the easiest little bow. You just put a bow shape and zip tie it, clip the back of the zip tie off and hot glue it wherever you want a little bow. I put it on the top of the lantern right where the little ring is and it was the perfect final addition to this. How cute did these two DIY thrift flips 
turn out. Look at those little miniature uh, ice skaters. Aren't they precious? Love, love Winter Wonderland Lantern. Such a different effect from before. And this is our Santa mailbox and it's got the cute seasons greetings, the buffalo check pattern on the back, all of the greenery and the poinsettias. Look at the vintage Christmas balls. This turned out to be the cutest little Christmas vignette. If you like this DIY, consider subscribing for more.